My name is Neil Malik. This is Everyday Office. And today's video is about using custom lists in Microsoft Excel. There are a couple of major use cases for creating a new custom list in Microsoft Excel. The first of them, uh, it looks a little something like this. Let's say you were in Excel and you typed in the word Sunday. Now, when you put your mouse in the bottom right hand corner of the cell and get the little black plus sign that shows up and drag it down, you can then autofill the rest of the days of the week. And this makes total sense because, you know, the days of the week are a normal list that you would probably want to see on a regular basis. Same thing with months of the year, things of that nature. So there's a very strong likelihood that you have a list of states or countries or companies or people that you need to create that list over and over again. It's actually very easy to do, except for, you know, for things that are as long as states and, and countries and things like that, it's a good idea to have this list that you copy from someplace. So go ahead and uh, take the link in the description and copy the states or the provinces or whatever it is you need from this little text file here. And what we do is the following. You go to File up in the top left-hand corner. You trace down to your options selection on the file menu. And from here, you're going to go to advanced on the left hand side. Now scroll down until you get to the bottom and right about here in the middle part of the screen, when you get to the bottom, you'll see the button for edit custom lists. And when you click on it, you see, oh, okay, yeah, Sun Mun 2, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Jan, Feb, Mar, January, February, March. Those lists for, you know, dates and times and things like that, those are very common. And of course, the top entry here is new list, so we can make a new list. There are two ways of doing this. Uh, you can either put in commas between the entries or you can hit return between the entries. And unfortunately, this list can only go up to the first 255 characters. So for example, in the case of our lists in here, um, if I were to scroll down and find the abbreviations, the abbreviations of 50 states, only qualifies as being 100 characters, so I can easily do that as a single list right there. So I click Add, and it makes me my list, and then I hit OK. So, and then finally hit OK here. So now we're back in Excel, and if I simply type in AL, and then click and drag that down, you'll see that the remainder of the states get auto-filled after the abbreviation for Alabama. So it's a very common use for putting in a custom list that you can reuse over and over again in the case that you need to fill a list of things that are common to your business, whatever your business happens to be. Here's another way. Let's say we were taking this data here on the sales data tab. Now, you can see that over here uh, in the middle is a column for region, and it should be relatively self-explanatory that in North America, we have the Eastern time zone, the Central time zone, the Mountain time zone, and the Pacific time zone. And then recently, this business decided to expand into Europe, and so they've created two other regions, one for the United Kingdom and one for the rest of Western Europe, where you know some of their businesses are. Now, when I take this set of data and I make a report from it, let's go over here to the Report tab, you can see that by default, a simple pivot table, for example, would put these into alphabetical order, Central, Eastern, Mountain, Pacific. But if I wanted these regions in time zone order, Eastern, Central, Mountain, Pacific, or if I wanted them in reverse alphabetical order or reverse uh, time zone order, these are ways that I cannot automatically sort these regions. So another use of your custom list is to create a custom list where that list is organized in a way that makes sense to you. Here's how that would work. I'll go back to File, go back to Options, go back to Advanced over here on the left, and scroll all the way down 
so that you can push the edit custom lists button. Now again, with the new list entry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Eastern Central Mountain Pacific Western Europe and United Kingdom. Notice that there are two different entries in here that are distinctly not in alphabetical order. And so by doing this, I'm saying that when you see these types of entries, it's possible I don't want them in alphabetical order. It's possible I want them in this order. So this is a way not only of creating an autofill that makes sense to you, but also creating a custom sort order. So I click Add and click OK and click OK. And now let's see what it would look like if I decided to sort by that custom sort order. I'm going to go to cell A4 here in the data, which is one of the entries under region here. I'm going to go to my data tab at the top of the screen. And if I use the A to Z button, that'll pull it, put it in alphabetical order. If I use the Z to A button, it'll put it in reverse alphabetical order. But I have not found a way to do Eastern, Central, Mountain, Pacific, Western Europe, United Kingdom. So what I do is I go to the Big Sort button next to the two smaller ones. Click on the Big Sort button and you'll notice it says, okay, we want to sort by region. We want to sort based off the values that are in the region column, but distinctly I don't want A to Z order and I don't want Z to A order. Instead, right there, custom list. I choose custom list and it says, well, here are the custom lists you've given me so far. Ah, there it is. Eastern, Central, Mountain Pacific, Western Europe, United Kingdom. That is the order I'd like to see these in. I click OK, click OK, and there it is. It's in the order that I've specifically spelled out in my custom list. Now these custom lists are saved onto your hard drive of the computer that you're working on. So if you want these to affect other spreadsheets uh, when they go out to other people, it's not going to be able to. And, and also you'll want to take a moment here, go back to File, go back to Options, go back to Advanced, go back to edit custom lists right here in order to get rid of these if they're no longer relevant. So you can see here the abbreviated states if they're no longer relevant. I use the delete button. Same thing with Eastern, Central, Mountain, Pacific. Delete them. But I cannot delete these months and days, which is for the best.